On the floor of the Texas Senate, it was the first full day of testimony in the impeachment trial of Attorney General Ken Paxton. Our Fox 26 political reporter Greg Grugan reporting from the Capitol with what a key witness for the prosecution had to say. The attorney general is not above the law. Once the Texas attorney general's trusted second in command, Jeff Mateer is now among Ken Paxton's chief accusers. I concluded that you know, Mr. Paxton was engaged in, 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 in conduct that was immoral, unethical, and, and I had a good faith belief that, that it was illegal. Under examination by prosecutor Rusty Harden, Mateer told the Senate jury he feared Paxton was potentially being blackmailed by Austin real estate investor Nate Paul, a political donor who was benefiting from agency intervention on multiple fronts, including an inexplicable opinion ordered by the AG himself, used to cancel property foreclosure sales due to COVID fears when the state's official policy was to reopen all business. The, the opinion took the complete opposite view. It was as if Anthony Fauci had written it. Mateer says he resigned and blew the whistle to the FBI when Paxton ignored his plea to disengage from Nate Paul. We couldn't protect him because he didn't want to be protected. On cross-examination, defense attorney Tony Busby accused Mateer of leading a mutiny of Paxton's top lieutenants based on inaccurate and half-baked assumptions. Once you heard all these foolishness concerns, some of which you might have believed, some of which you didn't, your job at that point in time was to go to the boss. Isn't that right? I, I had tried to go to the boss. Is it because you wanted to be the attorney general? Is that what was going on? Anybody who knows me, Mr. Busby, knows that that is not one of my ambitions. Later, attorney Busby would go further, actually accusing Mateer of mounting a coup. At the state capitol, Greg Grug and Fox 26 News.